Hi, let us understand how discovery and load balancing works within container networking. As a part of container networking, I'm going to create a network and attach containers to it. And I'm going to load balance the traffic that is coming into that specific network. For that purpose, I'm going to create a network and a couple of containers and attach the containers to the network. Let's go ahead and do a small demo. I do have a machine. Let me create a network. I'm creating a network in the name of load underscore balance. Let me list the networks available. So I do have the network load underscore balance. Now I'm going to create a couple of containers. I'm going to use the image Alpine and I will provide the option I, T and D so that the STD input will be open even if it is not attached and it will be having a dedicated TTY and it will be running in the detached mode. So I am starting a container in the name of alpine dash lb dash one and I am providing a network alias lb underscore alias and I am making the container to run as a part of load underscore balance network. This is the image that I wanted to run. The same way I will run another container in the name of alpine lb2. So I should have two containers up and running docker container ls both the containers are up and running. Now I can go ahead and inspect the network. It has two containers attached to it. And uh, if I inspect the container, let me go ahead and inspect the specific container. So that should have the gateway and the IP address details and uh, what network it's attached to. Now I'm going to ping the container two from container one and vice versa and check whether they are able to communicate or not. So I'm going to execute the ping command from container one against the container two. So this is providing a confirmation it's able to communicate. Let me do the ping the other way. That is from container two, I'm going to ping container one. Yes, they are able to communicate. Now I'm going to ping the network alias so that it can route the traffic based on the load. So basically it will follow the round robin now I'm going to execute the ping command against the network alias that is LB underscore alias. I'm going to execute the ping command from container one. So this time it reached the container with the IP address 0.2. Let me execute the same command once again. This time also it reached the container with the IP address 0.2. Let me go ahead and execute a few more times. So automatically it will get routed to the other container. This time it got routed to the other container with the IP address 0.3. So basically the network alias will take care of routing the, so the network will take care of routing the traffic to the container which is having more resources to serve the request. Now let's go ahead and remove the containers as well as the network to keep this particular host clean. I'm going to remove these two containers. Before removing the network, I need to remove the container. So I'm going to use the dash F option because it is running. And uh, let me remove the network as well. So in a quick summary, we had seen how to create a network and attach the containers and use the network alias so that I can load balance the traffic that is being sent to that specific network or the containers attached to that specific network.